and welcome ladies and gentlemen boys and girls dogs and cats elephants and zebras gypsies and the she okay sorry you can't see me there is that better I know I've been making a whole bunch of videos of late and I'm feeling better than I, I have the last two or three days so that's good I still got stuff coming up though <coughs> excuse me anyway <coughs> so uh, <coughs> uh, one of the uh, hundreds if not thousands of groups I'm on on Facebook and frankly I don't even know what groups I'm on on Facebook uh, but one of them <coughs> is um, you know it's a you know, exposing AA for the cult it is and the fact that it doesn't work and uh, let me see if it's uh, somebody posted oh um, this, is, this is a good one if you really want to piss 12 steppers piss them off Try saying you have a caffeine addiction, and um, that 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 reminded me. Um, you see these these ads on the TV for um, you know I don't in Spain we didn't even have a TV. I don't think we even had one in Germany. Deutschland is Germany. España, Spain. Anyway, um, but that was a long time ago, and there. Was Probably wasn't much TV in Spain at the time anyway. Probably there was in Germany, but, you know. Anyway, so they have one of these ads, you know, call us because we'll send you to the right addiction place because we really care. If you really cared, you wouldn't be sending people to 12-step programs. You'd be sending them to programs that actually work. 5% is not working, people. More people recover on their own a higher percentage than five percent recover on their own anyway and I called him up and I said well I have an addiction to oxygen I was being funny and the lady was like oh really okay well I can help you with that I'm like oh my goodness you actually they think everything is an addiction and I, I, I argued with one of them you know he said well we're not a Christian or well you use the Bible you pray no we don't yes you do I've been there been there done that and he got mad and hung up on me you know I was telling him it doesn't work AA's own number so 5% at the time I had it in front of me where that actually came from and it's from AA itself and um he got pissed off at me and hung up but um i was watching um uh spoon fed no more i just subscribed to that channel just moments ago within the last 10 minutes i would say and and i have nothing against prayer or anything like that i mean i don't you know i'm i don't believe in gods or anything so i don't i don't do that sort of thing but um no yeah i i have nothing against it i actually will go to church believe it or not maybe once a year um actually my girlfriend and i went to christmas services at my late wife's church or kind of our church um before my wife before my wife and I got married we used to go to church once a week she knew I was an atheist I still went it's not gonna kill me you know um, sometimes I wanted to laugh at some of the stuff I heard that's where I have a hard time when it comes to going to church because I don't want to sit there and you know start going to a laughing fit over something silly that I hear 
not everything in, in religion is silly. I mean, there, there are some things that are actually good. Just like there are some things that are bad. But, um, you know, if people who, if you really want help, there's rational recovery, there's, there's smart recovery, there's SOS, there's men for sobriety, women for sobriety, and things like that. So there are actually programs that work that have like 70 80 percent success rates maybe even higher five percent ain't no, nothing and I was watching you know I was watching spoon fed no more and um, you know, she's talking about the whole group dynamic thing and it's like I really dig that uh, something I, I mean I don't have many viewers and some of my video videos never seem to get viewed especially lately since I've been making so many but um, something that uh, most people probably don't know about me is I used to be Amish yes I was once Amish I was what they call beachy Amish or New Order Amish you don't question there is a group I used to be involved with here sort of two groups that I used to be involved with here in New Hampshire before I mean I'm not from New Hampshire but I'm glad I live here but um, you know even with them it's like what goes on within within their group it's okay you can't criticize it even if it's contradictory to what they claim to believe in even if it's contradictory to what they claim to practice but if you question it you get in trouble if you provide constructive criticism then you're not one of them when I was Amish I asked questions questions I wasn't supposed to ask and I was shunned and that was that for me um, So, you know, that's the whole group dynamic thing. You have to follow the group. You can't criticize them. When I was involved with the AA cult, I dared to ask questions as well. And that was, no, no, you can't do that. And it's just very sad state of affairs out there um, I look today at what's going on politically and socially in this country if you criticize transgenderism oh that's a no-no you're a bigot if you do that and um, you know my views on transgenderism is that there there are people that are transgender but they make up an extraordinarily small percentage of people right now transgenderism is a fad it's something that's going around and you can't criticize it or you get in trouble I'm gonna get a bunch of hate from this one um, so you can't criticize cannot criticize the group you cannot criticize a movement you the movement is the group you know what's going on politically right now with the the anti-gun crowd if you dare to present facts like more people are killed in car crashes every year the fact that I can shoot this pistol just as fast or faster than I can shoot an AR-15 um, the fact that if you ban guns that people are just gonna find another way to kill each other you can make a gun it's not that difficult you can go to the hardware store and make a gun I mean buy stuff to make a gun you can't go to the hardware store and make a gun well, I guess you could but you might get caught but you could go to the hardware store buy the stuff bring it home and make it <coughs> um, so you know it, it, it's a crazy world we live in it really is a crazy world we live in 
and, and the one thing with groups is they they're right you know um, like like spoon fed no more was saying she used to be Jehovah's Witness and Jehovah's Witness I've never been involved with that cult but um, you know you, the only way you're going to avoid Armageddon is if you're with the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, the groups around here is the only way to liberty is through them. Um, the only way to freedom is through them. Uh, the Amish, the only way to heaven is their way. AA, the only way again to heaven is their way because it is actually a religious group. There's nothing medical or scientific about it. It's a bunch of 1930s prohibition Nazi bullshit is what it is. Um, and um, so group dynamics. I guess that's why I hate being a part of groups so much. I've always been a loner. When I, when I was a kid, when I was locked up, yeah, there were cliques, and I may or may not have been a part of some of them, but a lot of the times I was just by myself. It was a hell of a lot safer. Hell of a lot safer. There were times I slept in the woods at night. In the woods, I wasn't going to get raped. Nobody's going to beat me. They couldn't find me. They tried, but they couldn't find me. I knew them woods better than they did. Not just that, I understood what I was doing I understood you know not to get out there in the in the moonlight where they could see me if they were looking for me not to make noise you know to stay as low to the ground as I could um, if uh, if it was cool outside to uh, and my breath was showing you know the, the um, steam or whatever um, you keep your mouth covered or you put your face to the ground and that that helps um, that was down in Texas and you know, I don't live down there no more um, no more I think maybe I, on the video I made yesterday on southern slang I should have included no more but I didn't include that I don't think so you now group dynamics you can't criticize the group you can't criticize people in the group another thing I find about groups is a lot of groups and I, I don't want to keep har harping back to this but some groups claim to be leaderless when they're not they're not anywhere close to being leaderless yet they will say over and over and over again that they're leaderless um, these people in these groups will will speak out of both sides of their mouths they'll say two contradictory things you know so yet if you point that out then there's something wrong with you not something wrong with the person being a hypocrite so, you know, but there are plenty of books and videos and websites and so forth and so on about groups, group dynamics, so I shall leave it at that.